Hello, my name is Simeon Neil Asher, and the trigger point of the week this week is we're going to be looking at the scalenei or the scalene muscle, the anterior, the posterior, and the middle scalene. Uh, I know I say it all the time, but a hugely important, hugely exciting muscle. Uh, why? Because it's one of those muscles where the pain map is so extensive, uh, and and yet uh, the muscle, and, and again, it's not the pain map is, is very remote from where the trigger points are. So let's start with the anatomy. Uh, there are three uh, parts of the scalene. The, <clears throat> the anterior and the middle scalene uh, attach to the first rib and they elevate the first rib. They're part of the accessory muscles of respiration. And also the s uh, posterior scalene in st starts uh, from, the, from the second rib and they all come up into the transverse processes of the cervical spine. Um, now, in terms of the trigger point map, an extensive map, and you can see that it goes all the way down into the thumb and the fourth finger. So the very much like the C56 dermatome actually. So in terms of differential diagnosis, scaling or scaling syndrome or scaling trigger points often presents as hand and wrist pain. So really important, something to think about. Someone's coming in with a potential C56 disc in terms of the differential diagnosis to look at the scaling. Uh, extensive pain map all the way down into the anterior part of the chest, uh, regimental badge all the way down the outside of the arm. And actually there's a slip also here you can see into the sort of medial border of the scapula. So as I said, extensive pain map, and interestingly, you can see there's no actual pain uh, locally to where the scalenes are in terms of the neck itself. Now, scalene, as I said, accessory muscle of respiration, vulnerable to overload, especially in asthmatic, chronic obstructive COPD, all of the kind of respiratory mechanisms, also people that are doing a lot of sport, where they're needing that extra breath, a lot of swimming and running, we can sometimes see overload in the trigger points uh, developing in the scalenes there. But of course, uh, those of us that are interested, there are some syndromes uh, where the scaling gets involved. So we can get some sort of compartment syndromes where, where some of the, the neurovascular bundle can be trapped inside and between two of the scaling uh, heads. So between the anterior and the medial head, the, the middle head, there's, a, there's a, a triangle which can sometimes be associated with a thoracic outlet syndrome. So uh, the thoracic outlet syndrome can be neurovascular, so it can be either neurological or vascular. Of course, there are some anomalies where people are born with fibrous ribs or extra ribs or uh, some, path some pathologies there. But in terms of uh, what we're looking at uh, for trigger points, um, well worth looking at uh, the scalene muscles if, you, if someone's coming in with a thoracic outlet syndrome. Now look, there are uh, other reasons why you can get scalene trigger points. For example, uh, whiplash. Um, there's also, um, if people that have um, edema in the hand, another thing to look at is if there's any uh, sort of tightening through the scalenes where there's a, a lack of drainage coming up vascularly through the hand. So uh, scalene muscle, uh, interestingly, you can palpate the posterior one. Uh, the, 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 the easier one to palpate is right here uh, in the middle of the neck. In fact, it's right in the midline is the middle scalene. Going slightly posterior to that and getting the patient to sniff, you can actually feel the second rid, rid, uh, rib engaging in that and you can locate the posterior scalene there. Now, uh, there are of course a lot of different trigger point techniques to treat it. There's uh, IMS or deep dry needling, which is obviously better done. Um, it's a, a fairly advanced technique, so it's, it's well worth uh, sort of knowing your anatomy first for that. But uh, there are a range of, uh, of hold release techniques, um, trigger point soft tissue techniques, uh, inhibition compression, of course, um, some sort of fascial unwinding techniques that are really good for decompressing through the scalene. So, scalene muscle, anterior, posterior, uh, and middle and extensive pain map or look at it for differential diagnosis if someone comes in with what you suspect is a C5-6 disc. Uh, also we see it in whiplash injury, head injuries, uh, momentum induced injuries, always worth looking for trigger points in the scalenes and that's a trigger point of the week. We hope you enjoyed that and look forward to seeing you again. Thanks for watching.